Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Thundercats Minimates Series 3 from Icon Heroes. That's right, this is the third set of Thundercats Minimates, so that now we can complete the main Thundercats team. Because this particular set includes Tigra, Chitara, Wily Kit, and Wily Cat. Series 3 comes on the same style blister card packaging that we've seen with the other Minimates. It features the Thundercats Classics logo at the top, as well as the famous Thundercats insignia in the background, and all of the characters are shown right there in the blister bubble. The back of the packaging gives us some close-up shots of all of the characters, as well as their names. Now one of the things I think is really great about the Thundercats Minimates is they also all come with a great selection of accessories for each of the included characters. So let's go ahead and run through each of the figures in this set, as well as all of their accessories. We'll start things out with Tigra. Now Tigra comes in that Minimate style. If you're not familiar with it, basically what you're getting is a blocky character there. He's got the cylindrical head. The hair piece is a separate part that is attached to the top, in true Minimates fashion. Now the articulation on all these guys is pretty much the same all the way around. They're all in ball joints, so the heads can roll around, move left and right, the arms can roll around, they have joints at the elbows, swivels at the wrist, turns at the waist, ball joints at the legs, joints at the knees, and swivels at the ankles. So you can actually get some pretty cool posing out of these little dudes. And you can see Tiger here does a great job of capturing the look of the character right out of the series, done in this Minimate style. The hairpiece on top is really great looking, and he's got great drawn-on details, such as his outfit, the musculature lines, and even the little Thundercats logo right there on his chest. He includes some really cool accessories as well. First of all, he's got his little whip, but as you can see, this is the one when it's not retracted. It's just a little handle that's got the three little red balls on the end of it. So you can place that in either one of his hands for posing. Now what's really cool is he also includes the extended whip, and what's neat about this is you can remove the three little red balls at the end of the handle, and you can pop it on the end of the extended blue whip. So that will complete the look of that, and then you can place that in either one of his hands. It is molded to kind of be in that little bent motion there. Uh, it is flexible, so you can kind of wind it around a little bit, but it's always going to kind of go back to that shape. But you should be able to get some really cool poses of him using his whip. Next up is the speedster known as Chitara. Again, another great looking character. You can see the way they did her hair is really cool. It's very fluffy like her hair would look, and it's got the cheetah spots all across the top. She's also got some of the great details drawn on the body there. You can see the Thundercats uh, emblem right there on her chest. She's also got the little cheetah spots going down her right arm, which is a really cool touch. And she also includes her own unique accessories. First of all, she's got her famous bow staff, but kind of like with Tigra, you've got one version of it that is in the retracted mode. So it's just the small little staff. You can place that in her hands, and it's got a small peg on it, so you can actually attach that to her left forearm for storage. Then, of course, she wouldn't be complete without coming with the fully extended staff, which you can also place in either one of her hands, and you can even have her do some two-handed poses, which is a really nice touch. Now, that staff is a little flexible, so it does bend around a little bit, but it's not overly gummy, and it does look really nice when you've got her displayed with it. Next up are the twins, Wily Kit and Wily Cat. Now these two actually come with a slew of cool accessories, but first, looking at the overall looks of them, they are very cool looking. You can see they did a great job of capturing the hair likenesses sitting on the top. They've both got kind of the pointed hair there, and uh, the outfits are very much like the way they looked, especially Wily Cat. She's very colorful, got that pink and blue, especially on the skirt and on her little boot cuffs there. So very cool looking little designs. And what's great is that both of these characters do include a great amount of accessories. So first of all, they would not be complete without their little hoverboard contraptions. They each come with one of their own, and you can see there's one little foot peg on there so you can attach their feet on it. And it does have some nice little details on the bottom as well as the top, and that way you can pose both Kit and Cat flying around on their little hoverboards. 
Now, Wily Cat here also includes her little pink lasso. She's got two versions of it. One of them is rolled up, so you can have her just carrying the little rolled up lasso. Or if you'd rather have it extended to be used, she does also include that version. Now, this one is kind of like Tigra's Whip, where it is kind of sculpted, so it's kind of rolled around a little bit there. But it is flexible, so you can bend it. And it's a really cool-looking uh, little accessory. You can get her to pose it so it looks like she's whipping it around and getting ready to throw it out to attack. Now, Wily Kit also comes with his own little lassoed up uh, brown piece of rope there, uh, but that one is just kind of in the rolled up motion, so you can have him carrying that. But he also includes these other cool little accessories. One that I really like is the little accessories where it looks like he's throwing the little red bombs here. You can see it's just kind of like a cloud of black smoke. It attaches into his hand with a small little handle, and it's got like the three little red uh, bomb looking pieces on the end, so it looks like he's throwing those off, which is a really cool little accessory. And then this set also includes this small little knife. Now, I don't know for certain if this goes with one of these two, but it does look really great in Wily Kit's hand. Now, I will say that Wily Kit and Wily Cat aren't any shorter than any of the other Thundercats. Uh, they do stand about the same height as Tigra and Chitara. The hair makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, Tigra's hair makes them look a little bit taller, but they do seem to be about the same height. Now, as an added bonus, this also includes a little mini figure. You remember the first set came with a little mini snarf? This particular set comes with Robear Burble Bill! It's a burble! How cool is that? Now, this is just a static little figure, so he doesn't have any articulation, uh, but you can see he kind of is done in the same little blocky style, so his feet and his hands look like mini-mate feet and hands, uh, but he's got some great details on there. He's a very metallic silver, he's got great painted details on the face, bright red nose, and it's just very cool getting a burble with these guys. Now, what's really great about this set is it completes the main core team of the Thundercats. So if you put this together with the Series 1 set, we now have Lion-O, Panthro, Tigra, Chitara, Wily Kit, Wily Cat, Snarf, and even the Ghost of Jaga. We have the core team all assembled. And then, of course, if you picked up Series 2, you've got a great assortment of villains. All three mutants and Mumra. So we are really building up an incredible collection of Thundercats minifigures. Something else I always love to point out. If you have the Icon Heroes Thunder Tank statue, that thing is incredibly compatible with these minimates. Just look how well the entire Thundercats team displays with that Thunder Tank. If you're planning on picking up these Minimates and you can spare the extra change, I would highly recommend picking up this Thunder Tank as well, because it makes for one heck of a cool display piece. So there you go, guys. There's a look at Series 3 of the new Thundercats Minimates from Icon Heroes. Now, speaking from somebody who doesn't really collect Minimates all that much, I will tell you that I am immensely enjoying these Thundercats ones. I am a big Thundercats fan, so that definitely plays into the fact of me wanting to own these in my collection. But with the great assortment of characters coming out so quickly, all of the cool little accessories, and all the neat little minifigures we're getting, I could say that I'm actually enjoying the Thundercats Minimates line more than the other Thundercats figures lines we've gotten recently. I think these things are incredibly cool, and I'm anxious to see what's coming next. The Thundercats Minimate Series 3 are currently available online at Action Figure Express, so head on over there and grab a set for yourself. Until next time!